Hello everyone and welcome to another video of the Sky channel. Now in this video I'm going to be talking about a strategy called Sky Groundhog Speedruns. It's a very efficient way of doing Groundhog. You can be done the whole thing in about 10 to 20 minutes depending on how fast the members are and of course if you're in the island or not. Uh, I'll also be going over some of the suggestions on how you can improve your Groundhog damage. So overall, it's going to be something that should cover everything you need to know about the Groundhog. So let's get started. The first thing is that you need to choose ants that do a lot of damage to the Groundhog. And these are likely different from your PvP ants. I did Groups at Fragger, Jack Jumper, and Reap Master. All three of them do good damage. If you have paid ants, your lineup is likely going to look different than mine. Um... Then I'm going to go into my mutation pool and I'm going to give each three of them uh, some special mutations. Skill attack, of course, the best one. I give it to Reap Master. Reap Master does a lot of damage. It's going to help. I also give the damage to wild animals uh, to Crimson Fragger. I've heard it works. I don't know for sure. And of course, you can't discount the fact that attack is a very valuable one. So I give that to Jack Jumper. Then I'm going to go into my insects and show you the insect talents. A lot of you obviously have a bunch of attack stacked up here, but skill attack is also very important, and I know a lot of people have that as well. But a lot of people discount the effect of skill damage. That is major. Try to get that. It will help a lot. Now, once that's clear, let's go back. And let's go out into our uh, Soldier Reform. So now Soldier Reform, you should have this one. This gives Groundhog damage. And damage, as I mentioned before, is pretty major. Now once that's done, just give yourself some attack bonus. I also give myself defense bonus. I don't know if it helps. I think it doesn't. But, you know, I don't care. I'll do it. You also want to make sure that you are a raider. That gives an extra bonus. You shouldn't miss that. And if your radar class is a little advanced, you might also have skill attack unlocked. If you do, set it up. I don't. I'm mostly cultivator, so not there yet. Um, and now you can see how everyone is lined up here. This is a special way of lining up. I'm just going to use the berry because, you know, to start the timer. You can see that Ukron is the guy who's going to make the rallies. He's in the middle. Everyone else is sort of around him. We're trying to minimize the distance between Ukron and us, and of course the ground and, uh, Groundhog and us. Uh, so that's the way it looks. Now the rallies are starting. You can see um, people are lined up. Here you can see his unit as well. My unit, people are taking a little bit of time. Now if your people are faster, obviously it will fill up much faster and it's going to be um, even faster than the ones that I'm showing you. Uh, and you can see the march time is pretty small because everyone is so close to the groundhog and everyone's so close to Ukron who's making the rallies. Um, and, you know, you can see uh, decent damage done in case you want to copy Ukron's lineup if you have something like that. It's interesting. Uh, so let's continue here. And... I will, at the end, I will show you how long it took for all of them. And right now I'm showing you the decent amount of damage done by each of those ants, right? So if you do have them, and if you're free to play like myself, you might want to use that. If you are pay to win, you might want to use Ukron's one. Now there are other lineups of pay to wins that work really well, but I don't plan on talking about that in this video. Uh, you can see there's this evolution Meteorite skill. It helps a little bit, not a lot. If you have it, please do assign it. Um, now you can see things are progressing along smoothly. We've already done about two attacks so far and it hasn't been really long. And I messed up. I sent the wrong unit. Let me quickly teleport away so that I do not miss it. And well, looks like they continue to march without me. Interesting. The game sort of messed up here. Not sure what happened. But either way, now everyone is one attack ahead of me which is fine. I'll join somebody else's rally at the end. Anyhow, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed things up so that you don't have to go through each and every individual attack. That's going to get super boring. So let's go at 2x the speed. Sorry, 20x the speed. Now you can't see what's going on, but you can see that the rallies are moving pretty smoothly. 
and uh, things are progressing just fine now i'm gonna slow down again i'm gonna show you it's only been eight minutes and we are already done 12 attacks well i'm done 12 everyone else has done 13 thanks to that weird bug that you encountered but you can see that you know things are super fast right now you can see that the ants are performing really well which is why i chose them but what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to switch out uh crimson fragger and i'm going to put in giant tooth now giant tooth is a pvp ant but it can do a lot of damage to the groundhog but it's a lot of luck you know sometimes it'll do a major amount of damage and sometimes it's gonna mess up a lot um so that's the thing that i want to show here so I'm I'm using it now. Let's see how it does. It's either going to do a lot and an amazing amount of damage or it's going to do pretty bad. Let's see what it did. And well, you can see here that it actually did a lot, right? So that's that's the point I'm trying to make. It's uh it's interesting because it's more like, you know, a little bit of a gamble. You might end up getting a lot, might end up getting a little, very little. And now let's try another attack and you can see that in this one it did about let's see 60 60 million right so not bad but the point i'm trying to make is not consistent like the others so now let's go back to 20x the speed run through all of our groundhog rallies with this team and then jump to somebody else's team and do it as well and now you can see that the whole thing is done it didn't take long at all 13 minutes or something uh, which is pretty impressive and you can see zero remaining really nice and that's about it that's what i wanted to cover in this video now one thing i forgot to mention in the beginning of the video is that these are groundhog teams that you should be setting up in advance uh, for example just go like at 13 utc we're all going to get together and we're going to do the groundhog it's very important that everyone in your team has not done any groundhog attacks before now of course i ran into an unfortunate bug which is why my attacks were not aligned with the rest of the team but of course you should make sure that your attacks are zero at the start of this and all of your team has done zero as well so you guys can finish the whole thing together another thing is that if somebody else joins your groundhog you should inform them that this is part of a team because if they join then somebody else from your team is not going to be able to join so a good practice that we have here at sky is that we set up teams in advance so everyone has the opportunity to set up teams. The teams are either going to be five or six, right? If the rally has five spots, then it's going to be a team of six. If the rally only has four spots, then it's going to be a team of five. And it's always best to do this in advance so that you're not waiting to get people on the same day. Well, that covers everything I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you liked it. If you do, please like the video and please subscribe to the channel. We will continue to have a lot of amazing content updated regularly. So please subscribe, leave a comment and like the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys again.